umbilicals which provide cooling water and also our air in the spacesuits. Now we're underwater in the space shuttle uh, with the mock-ups of the carriers that will hold the equipment on the way to orbit and that will use the space. We get dropped down on a platform. Uh, the suits, if they're not neutrally buoyant, weigh the um, mock-up version weigh a couple hundred pounds. We get weighed out so we're neutrally buoyant. So the next time you're swimming in a swimming pool, you can go underwater and pretend you're spacewalk. <laughs> Coming out of the airlock, we practice all of the operations we'll do in space. A little bit of a leak there. <laughs> and then this is um, one of the crew members. This happens to be Drew Foistel on the end of the, or my good, on the end of the robotic arm. You can tell by the color coding. Uh, opening up the doors of the telescope. And we'll go through an entire timeline pretending that we're uh, training, that we're actually going out to do the repairs. Uh, before we go fly, we'll do each of the EVAs about 10 times for every one EVA in orbit. And you can start to get a sense for how big the telescope is, many of you know, but for some folks, you may not have seen this before with a human scale. 